Greetings everyone. In today's video, we will quickly learn how you can lock any app on an iPhone. This is actually a workaround with the shortcuts app. So as you can see, when we try to open the app, it automatically is locked in the home screen. So let's get started. For more contents like this, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Now to lock any application on your iPhone, simply open the shortcut app. This is a default app which comes with iOS 14 and above. Anyway, now tap on automation, then tap on create personal automation. Scroll down and find apps. Now tap on choose to select the apps you want to add a lock to. Let me choose a couple of applications such as Bumble, Instagram, Messages, Messenger, Safari, etc. You can select as many apps as you want. Then tap on Done. You can add more apps later too. Anyway, now tap on Next, tap on Add Action and search for Start Timer. Tap on it. Now tap on 30 and change this to 1. And again tap on Minutes and change it to second. Then tap on next, ask before running, turn this off and don't ask and done. Let me go back to the home page. Now click on the clock and on timer. When the timer ends, scroll down and choose stop playing and click on set. Now open any app you have locked. Let me try with Safari. So the phone will be automatically locked after one second and thus can only be opened with either Face ID or Touch ID. So this is how you can lock any application. Also, this shortcut notification can be a little annoying. So to remove this, go to Settings, Screen Time, go to See All Activity, scroll down on Notification, you will see shortcuts. Tap on it. If you cannot tap on shortcuts, then tap on this icon to change to last week. Scroll up and change the day and again to week. Scroll down and you will see you can now tap shortcuts. And turn off this allow notifications. So the shortcut notification is turned off. Now let me open any application. So you can see if I open any application, it is locked and there are no notifications. We really hope this video is useful. Thank you very much.